let us focus on the return statement in python it is basically used to terminate or exit the function and is basically placed at the end so the return statement with an expression will get evaluated first okay so a return statement with an expression will get evaluated first and then it will return to the function called so let us see an example let's say i'll create a function demo okay now I have used the return statement with an expression so this will be 10 plus num 10 plus this value will get returned now what is the value of num we will pass using the demo function okay we have passed here let's say we pass demo 2 so 2 value will get passed here num is equal to 2 it will go here 12 will get returned and get printed here and you can see 12 got printed in the same way you can add other values let's say I added this I'll right click what will happen I'll run what will happen 10 will go here 10 plus 10 is 20 the 20 will get returned after 12 so this is how the return statement works in Python now let us see another example this for example 1 now this is example 2 let's say we created a function demo three parameters abc now i have added those values and displayed the result add this here now i'll add values for sum let's say i added 5 7 15 now when I'll run it, it will pass all these three values here and it will go to the res variable for the output for the result and the result will get printed using return statement. I'll run it. Here and you can see 27 is the 27 is the output 5 plus 7 plus 15. Now what about adding different values? 50, 500 and let's say 1000. I'll right click and run what will, what will be the output? 1550 will get returned here using the return statement here it is okay so this is how we can work around the return statement 